Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today I'm going to be reacting to If the Emperor Had a Text to Speech Device special episode. Kitten and Imps play a children's card game made by Bruva Alpha Busa. Okay, if you want to check out my previous reactions, remember the playlist card will be at the top. Just click on it and you'll be able to access them. If you want to check out the original video as well as Bruva Alpha Busa's YouTube channel, the links are in the description below. Uh, last week, episode 20, Primark Robo Dawn and Primark Vulcan have returned. Um, I don't know how is this going to, you know, change the story now because these Primarchs are now coming back. We have three Primarchs now, so far Magnus, Vulcan and Robo Dawn. And it's a good thing. You know, I was actually kind of shocked to see Robo Dawn uh, alive <laughs> and in the palace. So yeah, that was quite interesting and you know, we got to have the background of uh, uh, the Salamander uh, chapter and you know, how they started out and you know, why they have such charcoal kind of skin tone as well as red eyes and yeah, it was just a bit of a surprise to see Rogaldon and Vulcan, it's not really a surprise because you know, uh, the Ultramarines had a mission from the Emperor to collect all the artifacts that the Salamanders were supposed to collect for the uh, for the Primarch to return. So yeah, he's back too. And now we're heading into a special episode. Uh, a children's game. A children's game. A card game. I'm, I'm wondering which card game is this. Yeah, but anyways, let's start. Three, two, one. Go. I cannot believe you still have not turned off Gilliman's life support. W well, I will eventually, my lord. I am tired of all your eventualities. You must do it. It is important. And I will if you- Why? No, don't do that. Time, my lord. Do it and no oh, 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 W. No. I- Will not. Are you stand your ground, kitten? Defying me? Yes, in this particular instance, I am. Then I have no choice. I challenge you to a game of paradox, billiards, Faustroy, and roulette, fourth dimensional hypercube chess strip poker. I am scared. If you win, I will let it slide for now. So the children, the children's game is chess. Oh, okay. But if I win, I will banish you to the realm of Ultramar until you have completed this mission. But... I don't even know how to play Paradox Billets, Hyperbole, Chips Poker... I will have a Tech Priest give you the knowledge instantly with the power of science. There we go. Now you will be fit with the proper gear as well. What is this and why is it necessary? You already know, so be quiet. Wait a minute, I know what that thing is. No. It couldn't be. It it just can't. No, 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 no. Quiet. Your deck has already been assembled based upon neural activity in your cerebrum, as well as total type casting. Deck? What? What is this even? I just had all game rules implanted directly into your mind. You already know fucking everything, so stop thinking and let us play. Remember the stakes. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh my my my! If Kitten loses this duel, which no doubt will happen, he will be sent away to Ultramar for a long time. Finally! The charge will be wonderful. <laughs> Actually, I am banishing you two. Sorry, what? This is now an Ultra game. Holy terror! Wrong! What happened to all the gold? Guys, this can't be Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> hey! No, I mean, yeah, sure, it is a children's game, but... No! If you lose this Ultra game, you and your friends will all be banished to the Ultra realm. My lord, perhaps you're taking this a tad bit too far. Kitten! You are our only hope! Please win! If you win, we won't show your lecture to tie away! I swear, no promises are made. Fine, I'll try to play, I guess. As long as you look away when the whole strip part of this comes to play. No promises are made. All right, son. Yo, start things off. Draw your five cards. 
Okay, here goes. You know, I am looking at these cards right now and... Guys, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! out here. Oh, wow. My lord, I don't think this is neither billiard, chess, hypercube, strip poker, Australian roulette, nor a combination of the five. This is just a children's card game. By the Milky Way's memories, I will shoot you out of a fucking cannon, unless you start playing. I'm sorry, my lord, I'll just continue. I should probably start easy defensive. This creepy bug man man murderer will do the trick. If he is attacked, he will destroy whatever is attacked by him. I'll place this face down and end my turn. You have already lost. He, it even has the sound effects. Oh wow, Bruva, well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it is like you do not know who you are playing with, my turn. The effect of my golden ladybug activates, giving me 500 extra life points. But whatever, is already the lead. I then activate my gas bot and sanguineous charity, allowing me to draw five new cards in total. However, due to the charity, I have to discard two of the cards I have into the warp, and my chosen sacrifices shall be the golden ladybug and the shitty chaos looking brother fucker. Fortunately, throwing him in the grave warp gives me an extra card, so it is six new ones in total. Oh boy. I'm sorry, but isn't that super cheap? I mean, why wouldn't you have those cards in your deck? I won't be surprised. Oh, wait, let me just drink water. <laughs> I won't be surprised if the Emperor uh, summons the Egyptian God cards. You know, Obelisk the Tormentor and Slifer the Sky Dragon and what was it? Raw. Yeah, <laughs> I won't be surprised. I really won't be surprised. There's no reason not to. I am the Emperor and was destined to wield the very best cards humanity has ever created. Including the broken ones? The Mela is not exactly merciful in the warp sunshine. And speaking of which, I now activate Obedient School. This allows me to bring forth three different beasts from my deck and summon them to this realm. I choose a Happy Snake, Abomination Dawn, and Horsebird. <laughs> They are all an infinite amount more loyal and tasteful in choice of attire compared to the three strippy tears over there. By our blessed biceps! Our glorious overlord has three servants out on the field already! And they're all lusting off the life points! How is Kitten ever going to it now? That is certainly bad news for me. My turn? Did I say I was done? Baby boy, let me tell you. Nah, no, man, you're cheating now, Emperor, you're cheating. Though I am far from done serving this gold-plated shit explosion sandwich to you. For Yossi, I sacrifice all three of my beasts. So I can summon a much greater servant. It's... it's so bright! Are all the messages cruel? Is more ever really summoning it? It's right, reflecting upon my glistening skin is blinding me! Behold. Make an ultra chicken. The legends were true. He's even goldier than I'd imagined. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, well done, Emperor. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> Ew, do it now! That looks more like a dragon than it is a chicken to be fair. My chicken's effect allows me to pay all but one The music, the music hundred of my point lives to increase its attack to ludicrous amounts. Eighty four hundred attack points? Who will never you know? We can't give up our faith in kitten yet. I mean, our glorious overlord only has 100 life points left now. You can do it, kitten! Just believe in the heart of the cards! Cards don't need to circulate blood. The heart is but one muscle you must believe in, kitten! The tongue, the pigs, and the fur, but it's all too integral part of the card you must put your faith in. Still not done, though. How much longer are we doing this? No, guys, no, 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 no. The Emperor's cheating now. He's cheating. This is too much. End your turn already. I need to do the dishes, sir. I now set a card and activate the Temple of the Kings. 
Since I am technically a king, I am allowed access to the activation of trap cards the turn I have set them, so now I activate the card DNA surgery. Now, through the power of science, my mega alpha chicken is experimented on as my great Astartes children are so he can attain a new form. Welcome your glorious golden subjugator, the winged warrior of Terra. Well, he's no winged warrior of Terra. Ah! A dragon, or a chicken, or whatever. But he seems exactly the same to me in all other accounts. That is, because I am not done yet, I now bring upon him the noble arms of destiny. Since he is now a warrior with hands and a brain larger than a walnut, he is allowed to carry weapons legally, especially marvelous weapons such as these, that deny all which is that try to surpass us, that is to say, it makes him indestructible. Oh, that's nasty. That means kids and can't possibly hope to destroy it. Oh, good <laughs> And now, for the final touch, by throwing away a useless card, I also equip my warrior with the twin swords of flash and light. It reduces his ludicrous attack strength by 500, but now he is allowed to attack two times in a fucking rope. B I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Okay, my emperor. Are you done now? Nope. My warrior may be as glamorous as a golden sun filled with glitter, but I feel this realm is not golden enough, so it is time to terraform it. With this No, Emperor, no, your turn is over, man. You used your card. Come on. Nah, nah, this is cheating. This is some serious cheating, Emperor. I am allowed to take a field spell from my deck. And now, I am going to activate it. I turn this realm into an iridescent golden palace with the golden castle of Stromberg. I have never seen such radiant beauty outside my mirror before. It's too bright, I don't like it. A mirror being my lubricated abs, of course! Okay, so what now? My turn? This castle forces you to summon and attack with a monster every time you enter your battle phases, and each monster that tries to attack is automatically destroyed, and half of its attack points are drawn from your life. However, this card does have a maintenance fee, as half a deck of cards has to be thrown into the graveyard every turn for it to stay active. Fortunately, it is your deck that stands for the costs. Seriously, what kind of cheap card is that? Nah, man. Nah. Uh-uh. This ain't right. This game is just... It's, it's a setup. No. Stop playing, kitten. You can't have a game with a card that overpowered in it. Only I have one, so it is fair. Does anyone even play this game except you? Cinch does. Zeech is a giant nerd now, isn't he? Shut up and make your move. I need Yo to get to Ultramar now, before the dishes stack up too tightly. This is really bad. If he is forced to attack, he will lose automatically. The only way he loses is by somehow destroying that castle. Foam also, the castle is indestructible. Oh shit, how is he ever going to it now? And even if he did destroy the castle, my warrior would still super murder anything he has. There is no hope. Now draw your last pathetic card so I can end this phenomenon. Well, okay, I guess. Oh shit, there goes up. Do you have Exodia? Maybe that can help you. The Exodia card. I don't know. I don't know, man. My deck. Good. It is time. Um, my lord, you did say your castle was indestructible, right? Nothing to destroy it? Whatever measly attempt you throw at it will not even scratch it. I guess in that case, I'll play this. Giant Trunade. All spells and traps go back to people's hands. No destructions here. What the fuck? And... Let's go! Uh... I summon Wind Up Kitten. And then I use its own effect so your monster goes back to your hand. W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W And yes, Wind Up Kitten! Attack its life points directly with your... Wind Up Cat Attack. And he only has at least 100 life points left. Yes, kitten, do it! Well done! He, he did it! Kitten actually did it! 
We're free! I am surprised by this immense force, sir. Truly, this was a great bag of wits. I was promised stripping, but there was none. They just played a fucking children's card game, baby. Looks like I'm off the hook, my lord. Be quiet. The spin-off was dumb. Let us never speak of it again. But my lord, I am king of the card games now. Silence. Go and wash dishes. Washing detergent in attack mode! Oh, guys, okay, that was If the Emperor Had a Text to Speech Device special uh, episode, episode one Kitten and Imps Play a Children's Card Game by Bruva Alpha Busa. Yeah, this was so fun. <laughs> I didn't expect that the card game would be a Yu Gi Oh game. Oh, that was so cool. Um, and I like the sound effects, you know, it came directly from the show. Uh, even when he summoned Ra, the sun god, you know, you could hear the background music, you know, ah, it, everything was just so good. It was so good. But the emperor, man, he was cheating. He was really cheating. Like, he had so many turns uh, in succession, you know. Nah, man, that was truly unfair. But Kitten, you know, showed us a different path that doesn't require, you know, you to be using uh, indestructible cards to defeat indestructible structures. No. You know, he used a special card that would return all of that that he has summoned back into his deck and he would use his kitten to finish off the job. Ah, oh, that was good. That was really, really good. Um, yeah, this episode, I really do enjoy it. This special episode, well done. Move Alpha Busa, well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I did not expect this. This was so good. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay guys, um, that's it. Um, if you like my reaction, please give me a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos. Um, <laughs> sorry, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> um, if you want to check out the original video as well as Bruva Alpha Busa's YouTube channel, the links are in the description below. Okay, until next week Thursday, bye bye. <laughs> Oh gosh.